Knowing who you are in your own heart should be a priority. I didn't know I was Native for most of my childhood until I was eight and moved to my reserve. Today, being Ojibwe is a big part of who I am. I oh, and call myself Anishinaabe Kwe, part of the Ojibwe culture, a proud member of Shawanaga First Nation. I live with my mom, sister, and most of my family is just a walk away. I'm also half white, but didn't grow up on reserve. I grew up with my mother, sister, and not even my real father. He was someone who made me believe by telling me things that weren't the truth. He wanted me to believe everything was a fairy tale. I did feel something was off. I wasn't supposed to live in Walford. At that age, I still could tell something wasn't right in my heart. I knew it wasn't who I was. One day, I just realized after we had moved back and I still went to visit, that wasn't me. It wasn't even real. I was believing a fairy tale. When I realized, it was like pulling back the curtains on myself. Even at that age of 10, you can still comprehend when you know something feels right or not. Because of this, I feel it still affects me in trying to find myself. It makes me think sometimes what in my own head am I telling myself is real, or what am I just saying to myself that isn't real. It makes me not trust my own head sometimes, or even what others, including my partner, says to me. I have issues with trying to find myself still, with trusting and believing. Friends have influenced me positively in trying to find myself. They help me when I'm lost, and I'm forever thankful for my friends in helping me on my journey. They know that I'd do anything for them, and I know they would do anything for me. I have left most of this in my past. I focus on the future and what's important. All of this still has a part in the struggle to find myself. Focusing on the future and what it holds is one of my main concerns. Not like most people, school is a part of who I am. I'm still trying to figure out what I love to do that would make me successful in the future. It's something that really interests me. It would be something that brought me joy to help people, to help them be true to themselves and others. It's important. Why would you want someone to think you're something that you're not? That would mean you're not even being true to yourself. You have to love yourself before you can love someone else. I'm still trying to find balance, but I mean, who really has it all together? Finding yourself is something we all have to do. Some are truthful, some aren't.